I'm sure by now many of y'all know about the incident that happened at Owasso High School in Oklahoma. A 16-year-old non-binary student by the name of Nex Benedict was assaulted by a group of fellow students in the restroom at school. The injuries disdained in this bias-motivated attack later led to Nex no longer being with us. From what I've read, the school staff also failed to call for emergency ser services, simply sending Nex home. Later, Nex was rushed to the hospital and for some reason was discharged and sent back home again. And that's when apparently life-threatening complications started, but it was too late. It's also worth noting that Nex was Native American. So the hate brought by the religion of colonizers is still impacting indigenous people all these years later. This is Tiffany Cooper. She is the principal at Owasso High School. She is an accomplice to the unaliving of Nex Benedict. The entire staff of Owasso High School should feel shame about this situation and the fact that he was even allowed to manifest in their school. Oklahoma schools are notoriously dangerous for queer youth, especially now since Shia Rajic is a member of the State Library Advisory Board despite not being a resident of Oklahoma. Chaya is the notorious social media influencer behind Libs of TikTok, which is basically a page where they share videos of people for the sake of public mockery. Then there is State Superintendent Ryan Waters, who just the other day made a post on his social media attacking the LGBTQ community and using the played out term woke. There is another story coming out of Oklahoma about discrimination in the education system involving the recent firing of a gay man who was the principal of a school there in Oklahoma. Why was he fired? Because he did drag on the weekends. It was an off-campus gig outside of work hours, but he still got sacked for it. Chaya Rechik is behind the public outrage campaign that was launched against this school principal, using his weekend activities as an excuse to falsely paint him as a danger to children. For those outside the U.S., the state of Oklahoma is run by what is commonly referred to as the American Taliban, basically Christian extremists who want to rule with an iron fist and believe the law of their religion's God is superior to every other law. Like, they want a theocracy. And it's honestly sad that such a place like that exists in this century. Just like with what has happened to Nex Benedict and the media coverage or failure of the media to cover this, the story of the principal being fired for being a weekend drag queen has also been buried and swept under the rug. We cannot allow what happened to Nex Benedict to be swept under the rug. They were a cherished family member and friend to many people. And Nex needs to be remembered as a smiling, shining light in this world where there was so much darkness, a light that was extinguished prematurely, all due to hatred. Humanity has to do better. This is not right. This is not the way it should be.